We don't often have the opportunity to encounter Zacchaeus. What we do know about him is he was a short little man who climbed up the sycamore tree. And beyond that, we may know little about the rest of the story. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. He stops in Jericho, a major city and center of taxation. And the word gets out in Zacchaeus, who was the chief tax collector, wants to see Jesus. But he's short. And he cannot get through the crowd. And he cannot see over the crowd. And I can imagine the crowd might have gently been pushing him out, keeping him away. He is the marginalized one. He is the chief tax collector. And Jericho was known as a major export center for the balsam trade. So there was much wealth in the city. And as chief tax collector, he had many tax collectors working for him. So he had great wealth. He really wants to see Jesus, though. And in his frustration and excitement, Zacchaeus sees a sycamore tree right along the path that Jesus is taking. And disregarding all dignity, he runs and climbs up the tree like a child would to get to a better vantage point. And we can see him hanging out on the limb, looking down. And the sycamore tree he climbs is not like our beautiful, tall sycamore trees. Middle Eastern sycamore trees are akin to fig trees with large, low branches, making them easy to climb. And when Jesus comes to where Zacchaeus is, he looks up and says, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Yes, he's breaking social etiquette. Jesus invites himself to Zacchaeus' house. And Zacchaeus is overjoyed. He scurries down and is happy to welcome him. And the crowd grumbles. Oh, the crowd grumbles. Once again, Jesus has chosen the company of an outcast and a sinner over everyone else. And I expect within the crowd, there are many who, are, who secretly harbored the hope that Jesus might come to their house. They're thinking, I want him to come to my house. I have a nice banquet laid out. My house is all clean and ready. But Jesus is going to go to Zacchaeus' house. And Zacchaeus is overjoyed. He stands there and says to Jesus, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. And he offers far beyond what the law requires of him to make restoration. Joyfully, eagerly, Zacchaeus does what is right for the poor in giving back misappropriated funds and offering reparation to those he has defrauded. And Jesus says, today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek out and save the lost. In this moment, Zacchaeus is restored to a right relationship with God and neighbor. He is transformed as Jesus restores his dignity and standing in community, acknowledging him as a son of Abraham. And Zacchaeus' response is joy. Joy. And joy is the appropriate response to God's invitation to any one of us. A man who was shut out, sidelined, and marginalized has been seen and saved by the one who came to restore all human beings to a right relationship with God and neighbor. Zacchaeus' response is to become generous, a rich man who is willing to give away his money to the poor. He is saved, and in the words of Paul, Jesus is glorified in him, and Zacchaeus in Jesus. And this story stands in juxtaposition 
to the story of the rich young man who walked away in sadness because he could not give up his wealth in his desire to follow Jesus and inherit eternal life. In the end, Jesus looked at him and said, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. And the question arises, are you able to identify with Zacchaeus, joyfully living into faith, generously giving to the poor from your wealth and possessions? Does your life bear out your confession of your relationship with God? Or do you stand in the place of holding on to what you have? Today, in this story, a miracle has occurred. Zacchaeus, a rich man, has entered the kingdom of God, and there is much rejoicing in heaven.